people, uh, could you just give, briefly tell us about why, why that was the case? Well, uh, Jiang Kai-shek's party, you know, uh, kind of like a change, you know, uh, uh, after uh, in the history. Now, during, uh, when Jiang Kai-shek and his son was there uh, uh, as a leader of a KMT party, they are very much anti-communist. But after they pass away, you know, the party gradually changed. They are still hope a lot of them, you know, left China, mainland China, went to uh, Taiwan in 1949. So they kind of like have a tendency want to go back. Now, after the Chinese Communist regime reopened the China, you know, the first wave of uh, going back to China, actually, even before the Americans went to China, after uh, China joined WTO in 2001, you know, in the 80s and 90s, the Taiwan's investors, you know, huge wave went back to China to make investment. That's how, you know, the uh, exchange between the uh, Taiwan Strait start taking place and the Chinese Communist Party was able to infiltrate, using the opportunity infiltrate deeply into the KMT party, you know, so a lot, a lot of KMT party leaders, they have uh, substantial investments inside China. And they, their, their relatives, their families are holding high positions in Chinese corporations. The entire, that's how the entire KMT party start changing to the pro unification with China. Okay, if I may we ask one more question. But the Taiwanese people themselves are not ethnic Chinese. Am, am I correct on that? Uh, I would say actually yes. I do not agree Taiwan is a part of China. But you know, if you look at the history of Taiwan 6,000 years ago, Taiwan Strait, you can walk across Taiwan Strait. That's how most of people walk across Taiwan Strait. But however, Taiwan, you know, it's never part of the People's Republic of China, meaning the Communist China. Now, we Americans, we have more to say when it comes to decide Taiwan's future. Why? Because in 1895, Qing Dynasty, and after they lost the Sino-Japanese War, they gave Taiwan to Japan. And in 1945, it was General McCarthy's U.S. military took Taiwan back from Japan. And now from 1945 to 1954, it was, you know, under the uh, uh, President Truman's executive, presidential executive order. Ta U.S. military is the number one occupied power of Taiwan until 1954, we signed the security treaty with Taiwan and gave Taiwan back to the Republic of China, the Taiwan's government. So now ever since 1895, you know, from Qing Dynasty to Japan, to the US uh, military and to the uh, Republic of China, uh, to the, uh, yeah, to Taiwan's government, that's the Republic of China, you know, Taiwan has nothing to do with the People's Republic of China. See, it was a Republic of China or People's Republic of China. They, you can say they both belong to China. It's just like you can say both North Korea and South Korea belong to Korea. But you just cannot say South belong to North, nor you can say North be, belong to South. So, the, 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 you know, Taiwan does not belong to Communist China. Taiwan doesn't belong to the People's Republic of China. That's the conclusion. I, I just want to take one of the. I interviewed Madam Chiang Kai shek. All right. I, I, I have to. I have to go. You know, I, I my time is up. I have an, another interview coming at three o'clock. Yeah, so it was impromptu, but it was great having you. I, I have some questions I want to ask you too, and I'm sure we're going to have you back. Uh, am I pronouncing your name correctly, Nansu? Yes, so call me Nan. Nan from the yeah. Epic Times, which is a great publication. And uh, thanks for popping in. It was unexpected, but you were a very welcome guest. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. For and of course, we've got the wonderful Don Mazzella. Don, that was uh, unexpected, but it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was a breath of fresh air. It was great having you. It truly, truly was. And uh, all right. Well, look, it was a nice experience tonight, Don. I enjoyed seeing you again and hearing uh, more from you. 
Uh, and we, you and I, I'm sure we'll be back together soon at IQ. I've, I've loved being uh, my relationship with you and IQ and Jiggy Jaguar. I treasure it very much. Um, more than you'll know. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank All right, we're going to... We're going to sign off, Don. Uh, Have a great this day. Is you too. It's the Jiggy Jaguar Show. Roger Homefield sitting in for Jiggy. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for being with us. Thank you and good night.